Hey guys, Nate here. Hey, I'm filming a video from my office today in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I specifically want to help those of you that are doing this business remote or even internationally. So um, just to give you a sneak peek of what Minneapolis looks like today, you've actually, you're enduring this right in the middle of a snowstorm. So Dave, could you give them a sh shot of the, the snow? Yep, that's right outside of our window. So <laughs> uh, I actually like the snow. I was just telling Dave that, but those of you that fear it, well, that's what it looks like. Anyways, so uh, Dean asked us to put together a video for those of you that are, are in different places in the country or different places in the world. And um, I know a little bit about wholesaling, actually a lot about wholesaling and doing deals remote because most of my deals are remote. I work with a lot of different partners and a lot of different uh, contractors and real estate agents that handle stuff on the ground. But I've also done part of this business while I've been abroad. So my wife is actually from South America, from Colombia. And early on when I was traveling back and forth a lot to South America, I had to figure out how to do some of, the, some of this business while not physically being in the city that I'm doing deals in. Now I know, don't get me wrong, I know that uh, when you have the deals right in your backyard, it can, it can be so much easier because you can get in the car and actually drive to them and meet contractors and meet realtors and all that kind of stuff and you can see stuff. But also, it can be a disadvantage to you because then you spend all of your time driving in the car and meeting these people. When you figure out how to work a system that doesn't require you to be physically doing every piece of the puzzle, you can actually leverage your time and go a lot faster. So I'm gonna show you just a couple tricks on what we've done to be able to do deals from as far places as far away as being in Colombia, like when I go down to visit my wife's family. Okay, so first and foremost, um, getting an agent, getting contractors, getting an attorney and title company, all of these things we went through while we went through the sessions of the courses and there's videos on how to find real estate agents you can refer back to. There's videos on how to find attorneys and title companies and there's also videos on how to find contractors. Use those to your advantage. It's the same whether you're in the city or if you're outside the city in a different place in, in the world. Um, you just wanna make sure that you're getting a rock solid person on your team. Now, when I'm going to a new city to start to do deals, I do like to do all of my screening on the phone first, and then I like to start testing them. So with a real estate agent, for example, I'll do all my phone screening, but then I'm gonna send them actual offers. They'll send me listings, I'll go through them and apply the 25 to one, and then I'll start sending them offers. And they'll start submitting those offers, and then as we start to get deals accepted, then I get to really test them, and I get to see how well they perform without me. Now, eventually I do like to get on a plane and fly in and visit them because I wanna see the people I'm working with before I actually start to put real dollars on the ground. But early on, I can do all the test stuff totally remote. So this is a good way that you can just kind of test the waters originally. Now, one other tip I'll give you is um, a wall map. When I'm doing a new city, I like to learn the city inside and out. So what I like to do is order a giant wall map about the size of my whiteboard here. You can get them from barnesandnoble.com, um, but you get a big wall map and then you take out a green marker and a red marker. Green is good, red is bad. If you start to hear any feedback that's negative about an area, mark it with the red, color the streets, etc. Like I'll give you an example. When I first started in Kansas City, I got a property accepted in the kind of the downtown region and I was gonna send the contractor there and the contractor called and said, hey, you know, you don't wanna do that, that area is rough. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? He's like, well, I mean, if I left my tools in the house overnight, my tools will disappear, so I won't renovate houses in that area. I instantly got my red marker out, I marked it off on the map, and that's an area that I don't wanna go. Now, this, the flip side of that, if you hear good things about an area, you can mark it in green. And then the other thing that I like to do is I like to actually draw out my comps. So if a realtor runs an ARV and gives me comps of, let's just say, $120,000 in a certain neighborhood for three bedrooms, I'll write that right on the map. So then I've got a track record of values as I go block by block, city by city. It'll help you with your geo-targeting. Okay, so next step, if this right here is daunting to you, I mean, getting all these team players on the ground, then the next best, met, best method that you can use, and this is something that we employ ourselves, is we'll actually get someone to be our area manager or our area partner. Uh, what does that mean? That just simply means that this person actually finds all of these people and does all the on the ground stuff for us. And then what's our role in that equation? They do all the on the ground stuff and then we find money through the private money systems that we told you about. So we're basically sending somebody else out there to do all of the heavy lifting on the ground while we go out and find the money for the deals and we plug in the money and then we keep the circle churning just like that. 
Now, where do you find these kinds of people? Okay, let me just give you a couple. There's infinite possibilities, but let me give you a couple. First and foremost, visit deangraciosi.com. That's spelled out, Dean's name, deangraciosi.com. There's a section in there, there's forums, there's posts, there's a whole bunch of different places to connect with people, but you'll see there's a lot of talk back and forth from people around the, the United States and around the world that connect on that site. Um, so you can go to that site, it's, you can get a totally free account, you just register your email address and a password, and then you can connect with other people that are there. Now, the other thing is Dean does an event once a year. Uh, it's in May, first weekend of May. Um, it's called The Edge. The Edge is a great place to go and actually meet people too. There's usually about 200 to maybe 300 folks just like you and I that are actually there that are doing deals or they have cash or they have access to cash and they, they connect there and then they, they partner up. Um, if you physically can't come to the live event, then at least go to deangrassdoc.com and try to connect with some of these people. Last one here, biggerpockets.com. Uh, biggerpockets.com is kind of like the Facebook of the single family real estate investing world in the United States. There's a lot of people on here that'll they'll say, hey, I've got a project, do you have money? Or hey, I've got money, do you have a project? You can go in there and find more people and you might be able to find someone that's actually would be a good area manager or a on the ground partner for you. Now with any of these methods, make sure that before you partner with anyone that you actually do a little due diligence and make sure that they are who they say they are and they're a good on the ground per person. Um, some folks in real estate totally kick butt and take names and then other folks in real estate, they, they don't exactly do that. You wanna make sure that you get the right ones to be working with for you on your, your team. Now, one more up here, if, if all of this sounds too daunting, if this sounds like it's too much work to get a partner or to go through all of these folks right here, another method that's becoming very popular in the United States is buying churnkey assets or buying churnkey rentals. What does that mean? That simply means this, there are a lot of companies out there now that actually take houses, they buy them renovate, they buy them distressed, they renovate them, they lease them up and they have property management in place so they're already cash flowing turnkey rental houses that they'll then turn around and sell those properties. Um, there's tons of companies throughout the United States and different cities that do that. Again, with those companies, it's no different than picking a partner or picking a contractor. You wanna do your due diligence on them and make sure that they are who they say they are and they're gonna deliver what they say they're gonna deliver. Now, I, I have to kind of twist Dean's arm on this, but I know that he's bought a ton of single family houses and he does have some single family houses that occasionally he'll sell. Um, he bought a lot of them a couple years ago when the market was really low and now the market's starting to come back up. His intention is to hold them forever, but on occasion, we can get them to sell some. If you're interested in buying any of those houses that are totally turnkey, renovated, ready to go, then kick an email over to jeremy at deangraciosi.com. Again, that's jeremy at deangraciosi.com. Just let them know that you're interested in some of the non-MOS Dean's houses, basically. Um, or you can just tell them that Nate, Nate said to send him there and ask for me. Cool, hopefully that helps out. We'll catch up with you next round.